Hello, I'm Hannah Wallace and welcome to Finextra TV. Today we're in Dubai for the SunTech Conference 2019, the theme of which is Digital at the Core. With me now is Jost Hopperman from Forrester. Hello Jost, thank you very much for taking the time to speak with us. It's a pleasure. And now I want to talk to you about how banks are dealing with the issue of wanting to deploy digital strategy with technology that's 40 years old. Do you think the two can coexist? Actually, I think banks don't have any chance other than fostering coexistence. Uh, there's hardly any chance to do kind of a big bang migration. The banking application landscapes are way too complex and risk prohibits big bang migration. So consequently, they have to find ways to foster coexistence. And it's basically a question of the right architectural approach to mitigate transformation risk and to allow banks to smoothly move to new business capabilities. All right, that's really interesting. Um, and do you think this leads to banks needing to look at integrated banking applications through the creation of an ecosystem? I think when it comes to ecosystems, we have to look at two things. First of all, open banking in the UK and in other parts of the world is certainly accelerating. And we could also say open banking is like the fragmentation of the value chain in financial services. Mm -hmm. When we come to that, we certainly see it's about partnerships. But at the same time, it's also about banks putting together their application landscapes using various sources uh, out of the cloud. And um, this is why we are seeing first banks, for example, Digital Challengers, to build their applications um, using an approach that Forrester calls banking application ecosystems, which are basically what you described, integrated capabilities vastly out of the cloud. All right, and finally then, how does this enable them to remain competitive? What are the benefits? First, it's certainly about the need to be fast when it comes to new capabilities is certainly what digital challengers in my example are very interested in. But even if, when it comes to, say, traditional banks, it is about the ability to focus on core competencies mm -hmm. and consequently to foster non-core capabilities, non-differentiating capabilities uh, from um, software providers, from utility type companies, for example, when it comes to know your customer, but also from um, kind of specialized partnerships that, again, complete the fragmented value chain that help banks to offer complete offerings, um, and at the same time to focus on what they can do best in the most cost-effective manner. Well, Jost, thank you for your insights. It's been really interesting. Thank you. And thank you for watching.